Shelpa. Yes, teacher. Okay, Shelpa, do you want to read the whole story? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay, Shelpa. Shelpa, just start with Enrico Fernandez. Okay, go. Yeah, Enrico Fernandez immigrated with his parents to Canada from the Dominican public when he was 11 years old. Although Enrico has become fluent in English, he still speaks with accent. Enrico has never felt self-conscious about it before. He lived most of his life in Toronto, so surrounded by dozens of different accents. Now, though, Enrico has relocated with his wife, Elena, to a small city located several hours outside of Toronto. He's enrolled in university to learn Sorry, he's enrolled in university to earn his degree in software engineering. Sitting in a classroom in which he is the only Hispanic, Enrico suddenly feels too nervous to open his mouth. He believes that no matter what he says, his classmate will always disregard it because of his accent. Despite graduating from high school at the top of his class, Enrico has been struck dumb at the idea of answering the questions his instructors are asking. One day, Enrico can't avoid the problem anymore. In one of his programming classes, his teacher has called on him by name to explain a technical term. Enrico knows what the term means and how to explain it. But he is afraid that as soon as he speaks, he will laugh at. As the moment, as the moments tick by and the class waits for Enrico's response, Enrico starts to wonder why he is enrolled in the university in the first place. Thank you, Shilpa. Very, very clear. <clears throat> okay. So here, discussions. This is Toronto University. Okay, discussions. Okay. Now. Um, uh, okay, let me look at, look at, look, let me look at you because I cannot see people. Nga, can you please read this question number one and Neri, please try to answer. Just try. Okay. Uh, okay. Nga, you, please read. Yeah. Can you identify with unrisked situation? Are there aspects of yourself that you feel self-conscious about? Yes, uh, I identify with Enrico and yes, I feel uh, like him sometimes. <laughs> and um, I know in, uh, that uh, the only person that is going to help me is myself. So you have to uh, fight and find a way to fix that. So for me, um, what I did in the past, I uh, I, I just went to teach um, uh, in a, a, a high school, and I was teaching kids. Uh, they were uh, younger than me, so. That was the way to be in public in front of, uh, of the whole classroom. So it, I was trying to uh, fix my problem and my anxious and, and my uh, fear of speaking in public. And that helped me a lot because I knew that I had to um, uh, like lose my fear to talk in public, lose my fear to be um, uh, surrounded by new people and, and, and lose my um, Oh, my uh, nervous system. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, Neri, you were excellent there. You know, you make me feel proud as a teacher. You know, you were excellent. And I hope you remember what you said because there is something going on later <laughs> about this lesson. Okay. So, okay. Um, but Neri, I think you need to use the word overcome, right? Instead okay. of lose. Okay. Yeah, you can say okay. overcome. Okay. I, okay. I was able to overcome, not to lose. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just to elevate your English. Okay. 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 I will. okay. Thank you. So who wants, okay. So you know what? Um, um, 
Okay, who wants to answer question number number two? Okay, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask Neruba. Neruba, can you please read the question? And I need somebody to volunteer to answer. What assumptions does Enrico Pierre, his classmate, will make? Assumption? Assumption, nga, assumption is when even you are not sure, you are thinking this way. Like, for example, you go to work and nobody talks to you. And then you, you are, your assumption is, oh, people don't like me. You know what I mean? But you are not sure. You're just assuming. It's fun to assume. Assumption is noun for assume. Okay? So what assumptions does Enrico can fear I, his classmates will make? Who can wants I, to answer? Can I, can I, do can you I answer? answer? Okay, uh, Shilpa, let Neruba answer. Okay, Neruba. Okay, uh, his, uh, accent. Accent? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ready? okay, yeah. thank you, Neruba. What I was, would like to... Uh, what, Shilpa, what is your idea? Uh, Andy Cole has a fear uh, when he speaks, uh, his classmate makes fun, you know, uh, because of his accent. Mm-hmm. What about Shishan? Uh, he has a fear that as soon as he starts speaking, his classmates will start laughing at him. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we say the word assumption because this is what he thinks. But this is not really what is happening. But he is so insecure. Insecure. And he needs to overcome yeah. his insecurity. He needs to trust yes, himself. Yes, he is right? the only. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Number three. Um, uh, number three. Olga, can you please read question number three? And I want somebody to answer. What assumptions about his classmates in, is Enrico making? The question is related, but it's about his classmates. And I think Shelpa gave it, right? Shelpa, just repeat your answer. Okay, Shelpa, go. Andiko uh, has a fear uh, about uh, his accent because whenever he speaks, he assumed everybody laughed because of his accent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the other. You know, no, you know why I laughed, Shelpa? Because your answer is better the second time. <laughs> okay okay so next let's have number four number four let's have um ian can you please read number four and i want a volunteer to answer what advice would you give anchor to help him feel more comfortable not just speaking in class, but in university in general. Thank you, Ying. Very clear. Now, number four, uh, this is your opinion. You will advise Enrico. Okay, what advice? Who wants to answer this? Uh, can I can I give? Um, okay, Shilpa. Yeah. So uh, you know, Enrico has very good uh, technical skill and uh, intelligent but uh, he doesn't uh, overcome his fears so he, he that's why he has to speak you know instead of uh, assuming other people uh, and uh, as our i think he's more self-conscious about his accent so he has to overcome that things that is my <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would like to. Can I answer? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, okay, Shishan. I would like to advise Enrico to join Mr. Andrew Taylor class <laughs> to improve his English and his accent. Wow, great. And I'm sure he, <laughs> he will improve a lot. <laughs> because it's opinion I based. Agreed. Question number four and five are opinion based, right? So, this is my opinion. Uh, Shelpa, um, uh, what's this? Chishan's answer is very strong. Yeah. 
That's why. No, 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 I'm not sorry. That's why I'm a class teacher. <laughs> okay. So, Can I advise? Yeah, no, just a second. Uh, okay, okay, Hila, I go. Okay, I want to advise Erico because because of people he doesn't stop her university or study and her educa his educated education. He has to go forward and he have to doesn't care about the people who are like what they are feeling and what they like laughing at him. He just go continue and finish her education and for her people his future. You know, Hilalai, your answer, Hilalai, is is so good. Thanks. You know, because if you think about people, you're not gonna go forward. Why do you think about yeah, yeah. yours? I love that part that you said that he has to go. He has to move forward. Don't yeah. focus on oh what people are thinking about me. He has to believe in himself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and uh, and sadly, everybody. Um, a lot of immigrants, they feel the same. They say, that, oh, my English is not enough. I don't want to I don't want to go to school. I don't want to get a job. I'm not ready. You know, they don't believe them in themselves. And, oh, people don't like me because my accent is this, you know. But it's just your assumption, you know. Okay. So, Amarjit, can you please read the number five question? And I need a, a volunteers okay. to answer. Question. Okay. Have you ever judged someone based on not on what they say but on how they say it what did you take away from this incident and how could you avoid it in the future okay this question number five is you you have you ever judged somebody like think of your life you know you look at other people you know and you say oh look at those people the way they speak you know Look at these people, you know, they, why do they, you know, they have been in Canada for 20 years and they speak this way. Look at these people, you know, like you judge them, right? But you don't know actually what is happening to them, right? Have you ever been in that situation? And after having been in that situation, did, did you learn something from this? Are you still the same today? You know, something like that, you know? Okay, who wants to answer this? Uh, can I sir? Okay, Shishan. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it's like it's very common, uh, especially here in Canada. Like people from diff different countries, we came across and talked to them, and and it's very often happened that we judge them that okay, accent, like it's, um, the way he's speaking, he, it can be improved. So he should like uh, put more efforts in speaking in properly. So my takeaway from this. Uh, the, this great discussion is that we first of all we should not judge anyone in such cases and we can better advise them to improve like we are putting our efforts to learn um, uh, in weekend classes or regular, regular classes so they can join any uh, ESL courses right and they can work on it and it, it, it can be solved like many people I came across like few months back, they they were not able to express themselves because of the fear. Mm. But now, like after attending some classes and you know working on it, they are quite able to speak very well. And it, it's not like uh, as old as before. Like they were speaking and everyone is laughing at them. Yeah. So, so that's that's how I feel, sir, about this uh, discussion. Yeah, 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 which is very 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 true. Yeah, yeah. Who else want to share? Can can we add something? Okay, sure. So, from my opinion, language does not determine our intelligence. First thing. Mm -hmm. And language gives us the ability to communicate our intelligence to other, right? By talking, uh, but it's it's not a measurement of intelligence. Because we came from the different country and different accent and different English, it doesn't mean we... Uh, anyone is you know uh, not intelligent so it's not yeah. measurement yeah okay. yeah if you if you if you if you remember shelpa and everybody i said this in the class before that it's so sad that sometimes people in canada when you cannot speak english well they think that you are not intelligent but i as i said and we i spoke about this with, with uh, my family and i spoke about it like during our christmas uh, sharing mm -hmm. like 
because I come from a family of teachers that intelligence is not about being able to be fluent in English. Intelligence is like some people like me as a teacher, like for example, sometimes, you know, I, because I'm very humble, I yeah. feel like sometimes I ask my students some questions because they know more than me about technology. You know, I have a friend from Lebanon and I call him and I asked me to teach him about about uh, iPhone. Yeah, you know what I mean? And yeah. so it's very, very important to, to acknowledge that language does not determine your intelligence. Mm -hmm. However, when people are highly educated, it's easier for them to learn a language. Okay. Yes, yes no. Yeah, right. I, yeah, but uh, but uh, in the question, what did you take away from this incident? So, if you if anyone has a if, like what example, did you learn? From? I want to improve my English so that yes, I join right? yes. So you can you can make better progress mm -hmm. when you decided to uh, you know uh, go ahead with that path. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yes, thank, thank you, you so much. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go faster a little bit now. Listen to this. I have provided some answers, just as a sample sample answer. But I just want to let you know that I wrote these answers, but you could do better than what I wrote because you are real. You are genuinely an immigrant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just yeah. like when I when I was listening to. When I was listening to Shelpa and to Niri, especially Niri, your first answer, I was like listening to you and smiling because everything that you were saying, I did not think of them. <laughs> and, and I understand that you, listen to this, Karina, I understand, Niri, that you were able to deliver that kind of answer because you resonated with Enrico resonated with resonated me. yes you see the word <laughs> yeah. okay so now i'm gonna ask i'm gonna ask um uh, niru uh, okay wait wait i'm gonna ask uh okay let me find some people okay canesta canesta please read number one here okay so now I'm going to read the question and can I just read the black answer? Can you identify with Enrica's situation? Are there aspects of your life, of yourself, that you feel self-conscious about? I can definitely identify with either in the season that I have an accent myself. However, I don't come to class every day worried how people will react to my accent. I am confident that I trust that my classmate will never judge me. Needless to say. Needless to say. Needless to say. We live in a multiple culture country and I have an accent it's a part of what makes us different from one others okay so you got the you like the, the you like my answer <laughs> don't say no <laughs> we can relate to your answer sir very good okay. we can resonate so, actually your yeah. Now, now remember this. My answer here is not really my answer. It is to teach you. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, right? Okay. Okay. Number two. Number. Teacher, two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, teacher. Before you pass yeah. to this, this slice. What is the meaning of a needless? Needless or needless? Okay. When you. No, uh, Karina. When you say need, need. Needless need. to say, needless, needless to say means I don't need to say it. When you say needless to say, Thank you. like for example, I say, for example, I say, Karina, you are intelligent, you're a good person, you're humble, you're generous, and needless to say, you're a pretty girl. It means I don't need to include this in what I'm saying, but I'm going to say it. 
Okay, so here, needless to say, we live in a multicultural country and having an accent is a part of what makes us beautifully different from one another. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add here beautifully different from one another. Okay, okay, so I'm going to add that later. Okay, so thanks for the question, uh, Karina. Okay, now, actually, Karina, you're the, you're the next one. Number two, Karina, what <laughs> assumption does Enrico fear his classmates will make? Enrico assumes that his classmates will laugh if they hear him speak with an accent. As a result, he becomes overly nervous and, a, and can't utter a word. Yes. Okay. Um, Betty, can you hear me, Betty? She's not here? Um, okay. Um, Olga, what assumptions about his classmates is Enrico making? Enrico is making assumptions that his classmates are going to make fun of his accent. He thinks uh, they are a bunch of bu bullies. Okay. Now, he thinks they are a bunch of bullies. I just added it. Because even the story does not tell about him being bullied. I just assume that he thinks that they are a bunch of bullies. You got it, everybody? Yes. Okay. Okay. Next, let's have Amarold. Amarold, what advice would you give Enrico to help him feel more comfortable, not just speaking in class, but in university in general? My advice to Enrico is not to be too hard on himself. He needs to believe in himself and understand that being a good student is not about accents. The content of what he is do going to say is far more important than his accent. Sishan, do you agree with this, Sishan? Yes, sir, I 100% I yes, agree. The content of what he is going to say is yeah. far more important than his accent. I I hundred percent agree with this. Yeah. Okay. And yes, Shelpa, to connect what what you said with what you said about the measure of intelligence, some people can have perfect accent, Canadian English, but they are shallow. You know, shallow. No. Shallow means when they say something, um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh yeah. yeah. But some people. Shallow, like water, right? It's not deep, shallow. So, um, but some people, they have, they have accent. Like they say, well, before I came to Canada, I was a doctor by profession. As a doctor, I was able to empower other people. These people have changed their lives and they were, over, uh, they were able to overcome their, uh, their, their fears. You know, like, so you are speaking something deep and very good content mm -hmm. so that is you know that is what i'm saying here the content of what you are going to say is far more important than your accent excellent yeah right? true true sir true it is very true and i and i believe it a lot of people <laughs> like like laughing at other, at other people you know but what they don't know is these people are better than them okay okay so, number number five number five let's have let's have um who has not read yet? Okay, Medina, do you want to read? Sure. Okay, Medina, have you ever judged someone based on what they say? But, no, sorry. Have you ever judged someone based not on what they say, but on how they say it? What did you take, what did you learn from this incident? And how could you avoid it in the future? I certainly have, and I sincerely regret it. it. However, I have since learned not to judge others. I could avoid it in the future if I educate myself about other people's cultures and traditions, their history, and everything that matters to them. When we people are educated, we are less judgmental. 
more welcoming, more understanding, and more loving and caring. As a result, Canada and the world will be a better place. Everybody, wow. I, I can listen to this. Nadina, I'm listening to you and I'm so touched because I felt what you said. Even I mm -hmm. wrote this, I felt it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, I felt it. Even I, I wrote it myself, but I felt it the way you're reading, you know, because it's like you feel it, right? Yeah, Medina, yeah. very well. Well done, Medina. Thank you. Yes, yes. And, and if you look at what I wrote here, it's so, it's like Dr. Phil talking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So deep, I'm sir. Like I'm like Oprah, you know? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm so good at ideas and you know uh, you know not, but, and when i wrote i feel more comfortable writing because i'm not writing about myself i'm writing to teach my students yes so that's why i'm yeah. successful so I the, myself <laughs> yes so teacher instead of uh in the in the moral we have to see the inner soul of the person instead of anything aside accent and anything yeah, exactly. inner soul yeah exactly like but uh, uh, Shelpa also, we uh, and everybody, mm -hmm. uh, we are not, we people are not perfect. Sometimes when you go to the market, for example, I don't want to tell you the market, but you know, you go, for example, <laughs> you go to the market sometimes or you go to other places, you go shopping, and then you hear people that you don't understand because of the accent. And sometimes you become judgmental. And, but you need to overcome it. Yeah. And to accept and embrace that people are trying their best in order to live their lives in in Canada, you know, and uh, yes, and so yes, and so that's actually the answer here is partly me. When I said I regretted it, it means I regretted why I did this in the past. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's very important that you accept that you made a mistake. Because Dr. Phil said, you cannot change what you do not acknowledge. You have to yeah, acknowledge. We have to acknowledge. Yeah. In order, yeah, in order to change yourself, you have to accept first. Okay, let me. Uh, Sir, one thing sir, from the last question number five, okay. the takeaway is we have to be less judgmental and more welcoming. That's very touching line, right? Like, uh, yes. Yeah. And, yes. and actually, you know, and actually, um, Actually, when I, I actually wrote this uh, this lesson, uh, the answer to this lesson, uh, five days ago, but right. it's only it's only last night, uh, mm -hmm. Shishan, that yeah. I added more welcoming, more understanding, more yeah. loving and caring. I added that last night. Wow! And I wow. said, okay. I said, I said, okay, you know what? I need to deliver something. This is a level seven, eight, nine class. Mm -hmm. I need to give them something that they can take away when they leave my class. And yeah. so they are empowered and more inspired to communicate with other people in a non, non, uh, in a non judgmental, in yeah. a caring, in a loving way, because that's the, that's one of the best ways to be successful in Canada, because success in Canada is not just you're intelligent, you're good looking, you're highly educated. You think you'll be successful? No, you need to have good personality. Yes, and, okay. and we have yeah. all of these are very important. And we have okay. it's it's a soft soft skill is more important than the exactly. uh, technical skill. Yes, exactly. Soft uh, scale. Okay, so here end of slides. You see me here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this man in the beginning, like the pictures of this man, right? He's mm -hmm. from Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and his name is Juan. But I did not want to use his real name in the story. Mm -hmm. I yeah. actually, before I post this on Facebook, uh, on uh, on uh, on YouTube, mm -hmm. I have to ask his permission, right? I have mm -hmm. to call him, okay? Because I asked, I use his picture without his permission, but, but he's, he's a friend of mine. Yeah, his name is Juan, okay? All so right. that's the same person. He came to my house during the pandemic to cut to cut my hair. Mm -hmm. So here it is his his this yeah this is him, mm -hmm. and his wife, okay. So there. Okay, so now, okay, I'm gonna let you go in five minutes, but I just wanna show you this. Okay, I just wanna show you uh, this. 
because you actually have a homework to do okay so your homework is this i'm gonna share it with you i the homework i is activated actually at 11 15. you did not see it because i wanted to talk about the lesson first before <laughs> before um showing it to you because i don't want you to be able to take pictures and and know the answers right okay so here um okay let me just share this i i know that we are running late today uh, but uh, it's really very important for me uh, to do this okay let me just share the tab um oh my god okay everybody can you see this yes teacher okay so here you see here right i hope that you you submitted to me the needs assessment here it says 1 30 p.m today i put 1 30 p.m today you have to finish the test but you can actually give me the test uh um, any time before saturday next week okay okay so you see here classwork and here it says accents so you click on classwork and then click on accent, okay, accent, and you will see there is a test. I assigned the test to 21 people. And then, so this is the, the, the test. Okay, so what you do is you read again the story about um, Enrico and then can you identify with Enrico's situation? So what you will do is click on this and then type your answer. Click on this, type your answer. Click on this, type your answer. Click on this, type your answer. And here, type your answers. And then you click, here there is a button. I don't have it because I'm a teacher. There is a button here that says submit or no, it's not submit. It's, uh, there's a button that says turn in. Okay. So, um, any question, everybody? Teacher, yes. Uh, how we go to YouTube to your channel? Okay. No, just a second, uh, Ian. Um, everybody, you do you know what to, you understand? Yeah, we, we understand. Yeah, I yeah. Understand. Everything is clear, Mr. Everything is got so, it. Yes. So here, um, it's up to you if you want to enlarge the letters. But please, there is no limit to how many words you're going to type. My advice to you is do not type directly. My advice to you is you, type, you write first on a piece of paper and then edit and then type your answer. You have one week to do it. Okay. Okay. And it is a graded test homework. And so I hope that you will be able to, uh, to, to right. answer these questions. Okay. Yeah. To, to do it. Okay. So now... Uh, before I let you go, let me just um, give in the the YouTube channel link. Okay, where are you? I can I cannot uh, see people. Okay, I'm gonna like stop sharing this. Uh, teacher. Uh, yes. Uh, can I leave uh, for now because twelve o'clock my daughter has a class. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. You you can you can leave, but if you want to see the YouTube channel and the uh, Facebook page uh, page link, mm -hmm. uh, please wait because I'm going to uh, give it to you all in the in the chat box. Okay, okay, I will be uh, waiting. But those who know and you are already connected on YouTube, you don't need to stay. Have a nice weekend and I'll okay. see you next week. Okay, yeah. Bye. and before you go, I just wanna let you know that I am so happy teaching my, my Saturday class. And because, and because because of you, you know, you have this energy and I just love teaching you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank we you. Learn a lot. It's our pleasure, sir. It's our pleasure. Okay. And we, we learn a lot today. Yes, like, and you will see that this is just the beginning, Phil. Yeah. Just the beginning. Yeah. And, <laughs> and sir, thank, thank you thank for you. creating, for creating <laughs> such a wonderful yeah. content Bye. for us. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye, Evan.